But when it comes to the baddest car in the street, you know, that, you know, the Aston Martin, and when it comes to the baddest, you know, Brooklyn-made type, you know, artists, you, you come to caves, you know what I'm saying? You have to like live with the car. The car sells it in a sense. You have to feel that car. So, um, you know, there's many steps to the car, but as you're combining all those textures and mediums and, and uh, you're trying to accomplish a goal, and the goal is for that car to feel like it's moving, standing still, because it does. I mean, if you look at it, it's like I, like I said before, it's shaped the contours of a, of a body, you know, and it's constantly like moving, and, um, and that's. That was the, you know, the goal was to, to make that car pop. You know, you know, it, it's it's a sense of pride. It's a sense of accomplishment. You know, it, it's uh, like I said, like I, you know, you, you know, the Brooklyn kid makes good. You know, and uh, and it, it's it's definitely a sense of 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 an achievement of, of a creation that 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 it mixes all of those things. Once I see this bridge, I know I'm home, you know? And uh, it's always been a source of great inspiration. And uh, my neighborhood has always been a source of great inspiration. So, you know, I came up through the street. Um, street culture, I'm like a purveyor of street culture and street art, right? And graffiti art and, and you know, I like to mix, you know, tattooing and, and, and all these different mediums to, to accomplish uh, a creativity and a form of expression to tell my story.